a lot of patients of mine have been complaining about some leftover fluid at the end of four dosages of Manjaro. So I have placed these four different pen devices which are designed to administer four different dosages like this is a 5 milligram pen, this is a 2.5 milligram pen, this is a 15 milligram pen of Manjaro and another 15 milligram pen. Now all these pen devices have been consumed by the patients to take four dosages of 5 milligram from this one four doses of 2.5 from this one and four doses of 15 milligram from this one and each of them has got almost exact same amount of fluid left. Now if you look at a device which has not been consumed, for example this is a 15 milligram pen device which has not been fully consumed, you can see the container, the glass container has got more fluid as we see here and there are three marks as you look closely on the glass container there are three plastic calibrations and these calibrations tell you how much fluid is supposed to be left after each dosage. And if you look closely, there are three marks here, one, two, and three. Once your piston reaches the last plastic mark, it is actually something that you can feel. It's, a, it's an engraving on the glass cartridge. You are sure and you're certain that the four dosages have already been consumed. Now, if you look closely on the four devices that I have shown here, all of them are reaching this glass calibration on the top, suggesting that the four dosages have already been consumed. There's nothing to worry about from the patient's perspective that the leftover fluid is actually any leftover drug that has not been administered properly because you have already taken the four dosages designed by the pen device to be administering you. For example, this pen device has already given 2.5 milligram Manjaro, which is tirzepatide, four dosages, and hence the piston has reached this place, which is the last calibration. Similarly, this pen device has already given you 15 milligram, four dosages. That's where the piston has reached. Now, what do we do about this last fluid, and why is this last fluid still left there? I have spoken to Ally Lilly company with regards to that and as for them, this fluid is excessive quantity which is just a leftover because the pen device has got a designated glass compartment which is able to carry more fluid than what is necessary for the patients. Now, the pen device unfortunately is not designed to let the remaining fluid come out because you can see if you try to dial further your dial does not go back, it is fairly stuck. Uh, in each cases, it will just dial somewhere in the middle and uh, it will not dial further to give you the remaining amount of fluid. And if you try to manipulate further, you see every pen device will be dialing at a different rotation. As we see, we have got these four devices that are they're not able to dial all the way to the back. When we look at the proper pen device, it should ideally go easily to the end to give you the uh, full dose of 15 milligrams as you see here. Now, the last leftover fluid as per the company is not supposed to come out from the pen and it is excessive fluid which can be discarded. Sadly, this is about a drug which has already been on shortage list this is quite a strange rationale for a medication which is very costly and at the same time it is very effective for treatment of both diabetes as well as obesity and has already been on shortage list of FDA for quite a while. People across the globe including both patients of diabetes and obesity have been struggling to get hold of this medication yet still we are suggesting that the remaining quantity of fluid can be discarded. This fluid does contain enough quantity of tirzepatide, which may constitute a full dose of 5 milligram from this pen. It might constitute a full dose of 2.5 milligrams from this pen, and it might constitute a full dose of 15 milligram from this pen. I would urge and I would plea to the higher authorities of Ally Lilly Company that this sort of waste of the medication should be discouraged and a means should be devised to help patients receive the remaining quantity of fluid because there are a lot of people across the globe 
who are still struggling to get this medication regardless of the price. The patients deserve a molecule which is highly effective in treatment of both diabetes and obesity. Recently, there have been multiple articles published in the newspaper and on the media that the shortage of Manjaro is no more a concern and there have been adequate quantities of this essential medication being made available to the public for the benefit of mankind and the patients. However, discarding such an essential molecule which is already costly is raising significant concerns from my end and I hope some means are devised to help patients utilize this fluid in a safe and effective way.